I was interviewing John Valadez, a famous uh, painter, um, early on in 1978 uh, uh, for an article I was writing for the La Opinion. I had done a series of interviews of various artists, and uh, while I was interviewing him, um, there was a lot of noise in the next room. Um, someone was uh, castigating a whole group of uh, young men, uh, telling them to behave themselves, telling them not to be sexist, and um, she was making quite a ruckus, and I asked John Valadez, um, could you please ask her to calm down a little bit? And then John Valadez says, no one tells Barbara Carrasco to shut up. She was just really a bundle of energy and a bundle of joy and just uh, um, really um, artistic and uh, just fun. I mean, Barbara's just a fun person to be with. I've learned that Barbara is a very steadfast person. She stands by her principles and her values. And that's hard to do, especially as an artist, because sometimes people want you to conform and do things their way. But she seems to just be herself and be very happy and content in what she's doing. And I think she's going to go down as a major uh, contributor to our Latino uh, culture and our art and our history. It's hard to talk about her greatest achievement because an artist always believed that her most recent work of art is probably her best. But certainly the mural that is right now the subject of a lot of controversy, I believe personally, is her greatest achievement. To me, she's a trailblazer. She helped, you know, blaze a path for my generation to continue that work. So when we think about her generation of Chicanas, that first one that were at the university getting their degrees, um, being part of the Chicano movement, you know, they were creating something new. They were creating a past for us, um, but also giving us a language to not just about thinking about our identity as Chicanos, but what it means to be a woman. All the pain in her life, everything that she's ever gone through that's negative, she always turns it into something positive, and that's a sign that that person is a real artist. Uh, she can create uh, anything from pain and anything from uh, her past experiences and make it into something beautiful and into something inspiring and instead of it being negative all the time. Barbara is a fighter and she fights not only for workers' rights but for other artists and also for women. So when we look at her art we always see that women are empowered in the art that, that she makes. So Barbara, thank you for that and thank you for your hum humility, thank you for your honesty, for being true to yourself and true to the movement and always helping other artists as they come along in their careers. Uh, I had the privilege of actually being at a presentation in Union Station where she unveiled a mural that had been put away for almost 30 years. And she did almost 30 years ago as a young woman. And it is uh, a history, a depiction of Los Angeles and the struggles that our city and our people have gone through. And it isn't just about Latinos, it's about civil rights, it's about Rosa Parks, it's about Emiliano Zapata, about the Virgen of Guadalupe, and all the way up to the Zoot Suits and, and low riders and, and who we are as Latinas. I think when you think about Barbara's accomplishments, it's not just about doing art for herself, which she does create art that speaks to her artistic voice, but she's also deeply connected to our community and working around issues of social justice and nurturing those leaders. She has a unique talent that um, really, I think, embodies the motto and slogan of the United Farm Workers, and that is Si Se Puede. Barbara is Si Se Puede. The legacy of Barbara Carrasco will be that the mural will have found its permanent place. And even though she's small of stature, she will be seen as having stand tall on the shoulders of giants like Diego Rivera and Siqueiros, who like Barbara, did not give in to big government and big money when they were told to compromise their artistic principles, when they were told they had to censor their murals. That's what's gonna be, in my mind, what I'm gonna remember about Barbara, and I think for generations to come, that will be her legacy.